with uh, Ronnie Shields uh, just the days before uh, Artur Spilka f uh, fighting for WBC Championship versus uh, Deontay Wilder. I'm going to start with the question uh, which uh, Artur Spilka asked me to actually ask you. He said, tell coach that I trust him with my life and I trust him with uh, everything what I learned in eight months. Uh, it's additional pressure for you. It's a burden of, of you cherished. Or you cherish this? I cherish this. You know, this is this is great that uh, a fighter has so much confidence in you. You know, the thing about it is, you know, he know I've been around. He knows my experience in the sport of boxing. You know, and you know, and I was a fighter myself. So, you know, he know I know the in and outs of this sport. I know the ins and outs of the ring. You know, I know my way around the ring, and you know he know he he knows all of this. So, you know, I'm glad he trusts me. I trust him that he's going to do everything that we ask him to do. And you know, Arthur Spilka is is one of the best fighters out there. You know, in my opinion. And I think on Saturday, January 16th, he's going to prove it. In those eight months, uh, he made a uh, man. Uh, he made me a man. This is basically what, the, what, the, what Arthur said. And if you can describe in your own words, in your opinion, what he meant by that. Well, I think what he meant by that is, you know, I think uh, from the very beginning, what, you know, what I did was I sat down with him and I explained to him, you know, what we expect of him in the, in the gym and outside of the gym. I think in the gym, you're there to learn, you're there to train, you know, this is your job. And I think he got that from, from the very beginning. You know, and I think just by our actions of showing him at Plex, you know, how we do things. You know, we can have fun all day long. It doesn't make a difference. But when it's time to work, it's time to work. And when it's time to play, we can play all day. We have no problems with that. But let's get the work in first, and then we can have fun later. Uh, Saturday, uh Showtime main event, uh, Deontay Wilder. Uh, let's be honest, uh, we all know it. It's uh, it's supposed to be New York uh, ad additional extra cor coronation of the uh, of uh, Deontay Wilder being a world uh, heavyweight champion, American world heavyweight champion, which is a very important part for everybody. But I know you guys have a different plan. And when we spoke before, you mentioned that uh, you find out. Uh, maybe this, the, the, the previous uh, trainers or previous fighters were fighting Deontay Wilder the wrong way. What's the right way, in your mind, uh, Artur Spilka should fight um, Deontay Wilder? Well, you know, without giving away our game plan. Of course. Uh, I think you have to be smart and you have to do one thing better than Deontay Wilder. Whatever he does, we have to do it better. And Artur Spilka is prepared for that. He's prepared to do that. You know, uh, you can't take anything away from Deontay Wilder, a guy who has very limited amateur experience, but he uses his athleticism to win fights. And that's a great thing for him. But you take that away, then that's where our advantage comes in. So we're going to be smart in the side of the ring. We, we know what we have to do. Now we just got to go out and execute it. Again, without uh, telling the secret, uh, the number one uh, problem the writers, even fans, have when judging this fight is how Spilka will deal with, with the reach, with the height of, of Deontay Wilder. Uh, uh, judging by your smile, you don't see it as a problem. Well, you know, it's not that I don't see it as a problem. It's that, you know, I've been hearing the same question so often. I'm and, sorry about and, it. <laughs> you know, I know. I've been hearing this question so often that, you know, you know, my response to that is this. You know, more the more the majority of people that ask me this question has never been involved inside of the boxing ring. You know, they they don't know what it's like to be in there. You know, it takes two people to be in there. And you know, both guys have a strong punch. So Deontay is gonna be just as leery as Arthur Spielko, when it comes to, you know, how he's going to throw punches, what his positioning is going to be. It takes practice to do that. And it takes a game plan to do that. So, you know, we have a plan. You know, 
if Deontay was so unbeatable, nobody would want to fight him. If he was so unbeatable, he'd be heavyweight champion for as long as he would want to be. But when you go look at the history of boxing, nobody, and I mean not one single person has been up there that's, that's been unbeatable. You know, it's always, a, you know, they're always fighting somebody who somebody said this guy has a, doesn't have a chance to beat him. You know what happens? They lose. And True. because they come, they come, they, were, they studied and they came with a plan. And when you execute your plan, good things happen when you execute your plan. No and, doubt. you know, I'm, I'm just go back, go back when the Holyfield fought Tyson, you know? Nobody gave him a chance. Nobody, nobody. nobody. Tyson was too big, I mean, not too big, Tyson was too strong, too fast. He was too everything. And what happens? They had yeah, a plan yeah. and Holyfield came out victorious. So, you know, and you could use that you could use any scenario to say, you know what, if you have the plan and you have the right plan, everybody can be beat. Last question. Does Arthur Spilka has to knock out Deontay Wilder to win this fight? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know, we didn't train to go four rounds, two rounds, one round, six rounds. We train to go 12 hard rounds. And in between that, if it so happens that Spilka knocks him out, we're going to take that, too. Ronnie Schultz, as usual, hard on the sleeve, telling how it is. Thank you very much, Ronnie. Thank you. Thank you.